Hi, I'm the girl in the cafe and I'm super excited to be sharing with you the Melita Calibra automatic grinder. I'm going to be sharing with you the features and also how I found it, criticisms and all. Be sure to stick around because I'm going to tell you two things that I'm particularly excited about that I think that this grinder has over other grinders in the market. I've been a professional in the specialty coffee industry for about half my life. Okay, maybe a smidge more. So I know how important it is to have a good grinder, whether you're grinding in the cafe or at home. A good coffee grinder and a good grind can make all the difference between a really good cup of coffee and a really average one. Now I've been using this for about five months now and mostly during lockdown. So it's had its fair share of use in the household uh, with you know a number of people in the house. Do you remember when I was making the switch from a hand grinder to an automatic coffee grinder in the weekends? So I wasn't just making one coffee on a Saturday or Sunday morning anymore. I was actually moving on to batch brews and I was testing a lot more different coffees and also other products. Uh, so I really underestimated how impactful an automatic coffee grinder was in my life. Uh, don't get me wrong, I would totally recommend having a hand grinder, especially if you are traveling a lot, but if you are just trying to decide whether to get a hand grinder or an automatic coffee grinder, I would definitely lean towards the automatic coffee grinder for you know convenience or you're really pushed for time. I think an automatic grinder is a no-brainer in my opinion. I have a couple of criticisms which I'll mention in the end, but Overall, I am really super pumped about this. I'm gonna go over some of its features and I'll tell you a little bit more about how to get the best out of your coffee. This grinder has 39 variable grind settings, which are stepped by turning the hopper. It has an integrated digital scale and an LCD display control panel. There are three different grind settings or programs. One is by weight, so you can grind anything over three grams to less than 100 grams at one time. The second is by cups, which is a range from one cup to 10 cups. And the third is time, so it grinds by seconds. This grinder uses steel conical burrs over flat burrs, so generally it allows a coffee grinder to be a little quieter, produce a little less heat, and also less likely to clog as much, which is really helpful. You can grind directly into the detachable container, or you can put your pour over cone underneath it, or even your port filter. So three important tips when making the best coffee possible. You want fresh coffee beans, specialty coffee beans, and freshly ground coffee beans. If you have all three of these things, then you are well on your way to a really good cup of coffee. So fresh beans, I know that I always drum this in almost every video that I make, but fresh is best. And being in the specialty coffee industry for such a long time, this I know this to be super important to optimize the taste, quality, and aroma. Types of beans, you want to get specialty coffee beans where possible. Why? Well, there's a couple of reasons. One, you'll likely be supporting local, which let's be honest, during these COVID times, it's been really, really hard for local businesses and small independent businesses, cafes and roasteries. I know what that's like personally, but another benefit that you will get is that you will most likely be getting a higher quality coffee bean. So I know from experience that most of the independent coffee shops and roasteries take real pride in trying to source really good coffee beans that are transparent, where you'll know about the farm, the processes, where they're from, the conditions, all of that sort of thing. And so you can kind of be rest assured and trust that they're going to be able to choose good quality beans and then you can choose you know, what flavor profiles that you, you want at home. Uh, and that just takes a little bit of the stress and the decision making away from you. You'll be supporting local and independent businesses, but you'll also be getting a much higher quality coffee in your cup, which is really win-win. Which gets me onto the other topic is that if you are getting pre-ground coffee because you don't have a grinder at home, 
it actually would really benefit you to get a grinder because grinding as you go will make your coffee last longer. When the coffee beans are roasted, basically as soon as they get to the brown stage, they start to oxidize. So they're letting off gases all the time and they're basically degrading. So the longer you leave them, they will, uh, they will get a little bit more stale. They will lose some of that uh, punchiness and those flavor characteristics that you're looking for. And when you pre-grind them, there's more surface area and there's more, uh, it basically degrades quicker. So it's letting off these gases more quickly. So if you can grind as you go, you are actually gonna get the most out of your coffee beans for that period of time. So it is highly recommended that you grind your coffee as you go and as, as and when you need it. So I did say that I was gonna mention a couple of my gripes. They're very, very minor, but I would like uh, there to be some sort of right angle just so that I can have some directional pouring. However, this grinder solves that problem because you can actually put other vessels underneath it. So if you do have a uh, pour over cone, you can pop it in underneath and grind directly into that or you can actually put your portafilter directly straight under this as well. So that's really awesome. Um, so that kind of solves that problem. The other thing is that the scales are really great to have as a general idea of how much coffee that you're actually, it's actually grinding, but it is slightly off. So maybe like one or two grams here and there. That may be a problem but I think generally one or two grams is is okay when you're just doing your morning coffees I mean if you were doing a competition or something like that maybe you'd want to find something a little bit more accurate or or use a separate scale but generally I think this is actually a really great feature to have a weighted digital scale uh, but just bear in mind that it is sometimes one to two grams off and lastly the two things that I love about this grinder that I'm super excited about is one is the price. The price is so good for the quality of the grinder. Um, it's about 125 pounds. So it's not on the cheap, cheap side, but it's also not on the really expensive side. It's so easy to use. It's straightforward. It just has, it has three kind of programs that you can use. You basically just have to put the coffee in and press grind, move this popper to get the right grind size. And you know, there's 39 different grind settings. So you've got such a huge range. So 125 pounds for this is pretty incredible. I'm really excited about it because, you know, the cheaper ones are really cheap and they don't grind very well. The grind size is not uniform. This is pretty consistent. And if you're using it in the morning or for the home or the studio and you're doing a few cups uh, or a few batches a day even, like this is going to stand, withstand that. And the other thing that I'm really excited about is that for the price, I have not found a home coffee grinder that is really good for filter but also really good for espresso and it actually I have actually tried this uh, using an espresso machine so actually during lockdown one of my mid-range espresso machines it wasn't it's not a really expensive coffee machine you would probably find it in a department store the inbuilt grinder actually broke and so I was able to actually use this to brew my espresso and it, it actually worked. So I've tried this grind in a more commercial machine as well and it's also worked. It's not quite as powder powder fine as a commercial grinder for a commercial machine, but it works. It is able to, like, to come through nice and thickly and produce a delicious espresso. I've had other filter coffee uh, grinders that say that they're gonna grind fine enough for espresso and they really don't it actually helped me out hugely during lockdown for a little bit until i ended up getting a more commercial machine and then i also got a commercial grinder so i used those two together and then i used this one for my filter coffee but um for a while there i was actually able to use this grinder to make my espressos in both a reasonably priced quality coffee machine and then also I tried it on a more commercial grade coffee machine. 
Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you found this interesting and helpful. If you are looking for an automatic coffee grinder, I think this is a great contender. It's really reasonably priced. It, it has a great range of grind options for lots of different brew methods and you know, I think it's going to be really good for anyone who is using it for coffee at home or the office or in a studio. Remember, specialty coffee beans where you can, fresh is best and if you are grinding as you go, you're going to be getting the best out of your coffee for longer. Okay, so if you want to connect with me, please you can find everything at thegirlinthecafe.co.uk or connect with me on Instagram where I'm most active, which is at thegirlinthecafe, all underscores. And yeah, I hope you guys stay safe and be kind to each other.